Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to create this cubicle abstract shape in Photoshop and Illustrator. First, we're going to start in Illustrator. Select the rectangle, press and hold Shift plus Alt. Make sure that you're on the fill here. You don't have anything on the stroke. Press and hold Alt. Drag it down until they intersect right in this point. Select both, press and hold Alt. Press and hold shift also to isolate until they intersect here. From, the, from here, press control D until we create some copies. Select all of it. And from here, press and hold Alt, drag it down. Press also shift until they intersect here. Press control D. And now we have the background. Select all of it, press control C, and let's go back to Photoshop. Press control V, select smart object, click OK, press shift plus Alt, scale it up, double click. I'm going to press and hold shift and also select the background, right click, merge layers. I'm going to create a new copy and I'm going to select the circle, the ellipse tool. I'm going to press and hold shift, create a circle and I'm going to position it to the center. I'm going to go to the layers. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to press and hold control and click on the circle thumbnail right here. And I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to go to the filters, distort, spherize make sure that that it's on maximum here click ok from here i'm going to go back to filter and it's going to appear here spherize again click again and there you go press ctrl d to deselect so from here i'm going to check the circle again i'm going to double click on it and bring down the fill opacity to zero i'm going to activate the drop shadow you can increase the size i'm going to go with 150 60 you can increase the distance to and click OK. I'm also going to create a new layer here. I'm going to press and hold control and click on the circle thumbnail again. Now I'm going to select the brush. I'm going to make sure that it's on black and I'm going to create some shadows. I'm going to scale this up. And now I'm going to switch from, from black to white. What is that? And I'm going to paint this part light. I'm going to go to the layers and I can decrease the opacity on this one. I'm going to go somewhere around 45. I'm going to double click here on the drop shadow again. I'm going to change the angle some around 44. I'm going to increase the size and the spread. I'm going to decrease the opacity a little more. There you go. 33 might do it. And this is how you make this abstract shape in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.